Welcome back, everybody. After the break, during the break, we are doing interviews. We are doing interviews with people who are just on that stage announcing some crazy shit. And I got, yeah. I got so surprised. Uh, we had some questions prepared before this interview, and now we can just throw it out of the exactly. window. Just throw it out. It was a big secret. To yeah. the end. Yeah, you did a good, great job. I mean, Thank you. We so, were already sitting here watching your talk on the screen without sound because we yeah. are in the studio. And I'm like, is Jacek announcing something completely new that we are not prepared to talk about? Yeah. And, you know, the screen we have there is not big. So we were like, yeah. What is it? Is it called uh, UniWind? UniWind. Yeah, yes. UniWind. That's so right. do you want to talk about that? Or maybe let's just talk about like how you started building all of this kind of like tooling for React Native. Yeah. I guess three years ago, something like that. It was like three years ago. I participated in um, native workshops mm -hmm. by Software Mansion. Mm -hmm. I, paid, uh, I paid a lot of money for that. And that was the best investment because they learned me in JSI. Mm -hmm. They teach me in, in JSI, yeah? And... That was like the swift in my career, because from now on, I was able to build C++ mm -hmm. libraries. Yeah. It's funny how you said on the stage, and this part I, I, I watched in, in the room, uh, you said, okay, so this is C++ code. I know you all understand it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Come on. A lot of speakers uh, mentioned yesterday C++. So That's true. <laughs> that is correct. And also, I feel like the level of the talks at this edition of the conference, it is much, much deeper. Yeah, yeah, super low level. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Node API, this is not something. Yeah. Every developer out yeah. there will use Every. Yeah. So, you know, C++ is a bare bone of React Native. Mm -hmm. We should at least learn the basics. What is JSI? How to convert a value from JavaScript to JSI? Mm -hmm. It's like the bare minimum. If you know that, you can build something cool. So, like, but do you think it's a necess necessity for, like, regular day-to-day -day developers for products or, like, for library authors only? Yeah, so that's a good question. I would say, uh, like, developers shouldn't go deep into the fabric, how it works. You should just use libraries. Yeah. And you can leave uh, C++ and JSI for us, for library authors. For real experts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that go to conferences and yeah. talk about C++ like it's not there. Yeah. Until something breaks. Because then, yeah, you need to fix it. Then you my uh, phone rings and I need to get up and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> fix some mysterious bug. So, like, did you explain on the stage, and sorry, I didn't see yeah. it, what was wrong with your... Uni styles for you to like go into the native wind. Sorry, uh, free wind world. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with uni styles, um, but we can see that um, some developers prefer tailwind syntax. Yeah, yeah. and that's all. AI that's the main prefer tailwind syntax. Exactly. I still prefer style sheet, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of developers prefer style sheet. Mm -hmm. So we will keep uni styles. Like this is uh, our like From main project. Yeah. It won't go away. We will uh, develop it further. We will push it forward with the performance, with the features. But on the same, um, at the same time, we can ship something new. Mm -hmm. Like Nitro modules uh, allows me and an another library developers uh, or authors uh, to create such powerful features, such uh, powerful libraries that are super fast. And I mean, it's super fast. Like, it's almost as fast as uh, React Native style sheet. How many people do you have working on open source libraries? Do you have the UniStyles and then UniWind? Do you have any others? And like, how many people are working on, on those? Actually, behind the UniStyles and UniWind are only two people. So me wow. and Hubert. Now, that worries me. <laughs> that worries me. Because like, if I invest... Uh, like my developer's energy and project and spend time integrating with Unistyles 3.0, then what? Like, I expect you not to go to any holiday. Go check number of issues in the repository. How many there are? We have like one per month, two okay, per month. Okay, okay. So it's and stable. The, the star count and the download count was really impressive. We yeah, showed it on stage. Yeah. Per, per each it's month. It's a big uh, incentive for me yeah. to make it even bigger. And actually, for the past year, Unistyles 
um, was around uh, 30 to 40k downloads, mm-hmm. and now we are moving upward to 50k. So it's a good progress. But I believe with Unuint and the, uh, AI, we can surpass 100k in first three months. I'd be happy to like play around with uh, Unuint on the live stream. Uh, we discussed yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we do these live streams every Thursday. And so we go about some news from React and React Native World, and then we talk about some of the library in more detail, and we play around with it. Mm -hmm. So me and Kevin, the Unistyle 3.0 came out, and we started playing around with it. We had terrible time for the first 20 minutes, and then we read the docs. (laughs) (laughs) And our issues were spelled out in the docs, were word for word. Yeah, it was like, uh, start here, go there, and yeah. do there. And you were like, okay, let's start from the end. Yeah, from the other end. <laughs> yeah. So read the docs, guys, uh, everyone. Uh, it's really important. So, uh, yeah, I, I will invite you to come come over sometime and uh, help us out. Show how it's done. Yeah, basically. sure. I think it's a great idea to invite library author to showcase the library. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I might steal that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is important, I guess, to... Um, because there are only two people working on Unistars. So it's important to uh, tell people that, I mean, in my opinion, like Uniwind is basically something built with Unistars. Yeah. So this is not like you're not working on Unistars anymore, because if Uni- Uniwind is going to be super popular, Unistars must follow. Yeah, and this is... They both share the same logic, exactly. the same uh, core, and actually, uh, as I mentioned on the stage, but uh, you sorry, have no sound. Yes, sorry. <laughs> sound. Um, uh, so, uh, we build it based on the Unistars, so there is everything from Unistars. Um, and actually, when we uh, build the Uniwind core in C++, Mm, we were able to see um, the performance issues in Unistar's core because mm-hmm. of that. Like, mm-hmm. we gained a new experience and also Fabric is moving forward. Reimated is moving uh, forward. And, uh, like, I believe the React Native community is the best because everyone pushes the React Native forward. Mm-hmm. And we want to do the same with uh, our starting libraries. Well, now the question is, what will be the next library? You need what? Because now it's popular to do, like, if you start with one library, for example, you have, uh, let's say, this uni pre- prefix. You have uni wind, you have uni styles. So what next? He uni knows. Uni <laughs> state. He knows because he just built a pluggable dev tooling extensions. <laughs> and he just started like creating plugins every day. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you can create one for uni wind. You can showcase. You can collaborate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can. Why not? Yeah. So you are now pushing more work on me, <laughs> oh, basically. Yeah. Of, of course. So there are six or seven plugins now. Okay, let's go. Eight, nine, ten. So I will be... No, but that, that's, that's what's so great about React Native Ecosystem, right? Like you can start building on top of Nitro, on top of Unistyles, mm-hmm. on top of Rosenite. You can create something great. Yeah. Yeah. I will uh, help you for sure. So we can do. So we need to stay in touch, basically. Yeah. yeah. That's a deal. Thank you so much Thank Thank you. for joining us. I love to see Poland... Uh, Poland taking, strong. taking yeah <laughs> the first uh, space uh, the first place in React Native development again. Thank yep. you. Thanks a lot for having me. me.